Hey everybody, this is King Kong Rong, and welcome back to Kong's Kitchen. In this video, I'm going to show you um, how to turn spent grain into flour. Um, spent grain I am, means that uh, it's a grain used after making beer. So when I home brew, I use whole grains, and I steep several pounds of whole grains in boiling water. So it extrudes the, uh, the flavor and the proteins from the grain, and what's left is you know, basically a soggy mess. So before we turn it into flour, we have to dry it out. And so what you do is you take, preferably with a spoon, you take the grains, and then you put it on a, on a rimmed baking sheet, just like this. You make a nice single layer, fairly thin, maybe a quarter, quarter inch. Um, and then on the lowest heat setting, so for me it's 170 degrees Fahrenheit. Now we have a tray in here. And then you let it sit in the oven for at least eight, ten hours. Every four hours you're going to want to, um, rake uh, the grains, preferably with like a fork. You can use your hand. It's gonna get hot. Even at even at 170 degrees, it's still fairly hot. Um, I'm gonna rake the grains so that it heats evenly. Uh, you don't want just one side getting uh, getting toasted. Um, so yeah, let's just check back in the morning and see how we do. All right, and uh, we're back. And you know, it didn't actually take overnight to uh, toast these grains. It only took about four, six hours. Um, you know, I, I was raking them just to make sure they were evenly toasted and I, I found they were already dry. So I took them out. Um, so if you recall, the last time we saw these, they were like a soggy, goopy mess. But as you can see, and probably here, these are all very dry, whole grains now. So what we're going to do we're going to scoop them up so this is a one cup measuring spoon Yeah, it's about a cup of the whole hard grain. And what we're going to do is take that cup. And I'm going to put it in the food processor. This is a Nutribullet. If you got anything fancier, feel free to use that. And then watch as those grains and turn it to flour. Pardon the noise. And just like that. You got a nice, somewhat coarse, but uh, otherwise, you know, very powdery flour. Now, if you want it even more fine, you can ground it some more. So, 
and see what it looks like in the cup. So yeah, it's a nice, uh, I guess you would say whole grain flour. It used to be a whole grain, but now, there you go. So yeah, about a cup of whole grain makes about half a cup of, uh, of flour. And then you just put it away. It's got a nice, sweet, kind of nutty um, aroma to it. And that, that flavor will come out when you... You make like, you know, you bake goods. All right. There we go. Spent grain flour. <laughs> now I'm going to try to make a whole series of the dishes you can make with spent grain. So tune in for the next video. Talk to you all then.